Hey, baseball fans, this is Chris Singleton, and welcome to MLB The Show. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the American League East, Joey Gallo had three hits on the day, leading the Twins to the win over the Yankees, 3-2. The Orioles totaled 11 hits as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics, 3-2. Luis Patino collected win number three this year.
Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. The second base. A wine of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And that's in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Got him. One out. Here's Donovan Solano. Donovan Solano. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Herman, a guy that really fills up the strike zone, rarely walks people. The downside is the home run ball more likely in play. That one missed. Now three and zero. Oh. Well, pitchers like this usually work down in the zone a lot, but these days, with all the uppercut swings most hitters are taking to elevate the ball, pitchers that's almost ball. have Make to be effective rate. up in the zone with hard stuff. So maybe that's one area he can improve in his game to try to steal, combat steal, that steal. long ball. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. As a hitter, does knowing that this guy's going to be in the zone, does that make you more aggressive? Kind of, but you still have to stay on that back side. You've got to make sure you get pitch recognition and let your hands work. And now the count is even. Did you ever really need a cue to be more aggressive? No, I never did, especially when it comes to messing with you. Wow. That misses. And a count two and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch is downstairs. One out and a runner at second. And he walked him. Well, he didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So not a terrible result. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. That one misses. Ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Check swing, but he went one too one. far. That's strike one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now batting Max Kepler. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Solano at second, Correa at first, two out of the inning. The one one. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. One, two now. Now one oh, missed. Two. Next offering okay. is down low. Left-hand batter waits. 
Line to right, base hit. Solano rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's 1-0. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. First offering, misses the mark. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Ball to strike. The pitch. And a big One, swing and a miss. And it's even up. Two outs. And there's a the ball. Corners are occupied with two down. Goes down looking. Here's the veteran first baseman, DJ LeMayhew. The first baseman, DJ. And he deals. That's in for a strike. Good eye right there. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. And now it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This to third. Sends it across to first. One up, one down. Well, he didn't recognize change up earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Glaber Torres, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. That one off the mark, and it's one to know. Singy, we think of John Carlos Stanton with the big time power as a baseball player, but he was actually recruited to play football at USC. Ripped on a line. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. New inning getting started. And now for the Twins, Michael A. Taylor. Herman back to work. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And that one clips the corner. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. One down, base is empty. Stays alive.
five foul balls in this at bat so far and these guys are going head to head you can see the crowd they're starting to get into it a little bit more even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet deal two gets a piece there we'll do it again seven fouls in a row such an impressive at bat we're seeing right here regardless of how it ends up still in the second already at 44 pitches so some concern there One, next two. offering is downstairs got him swinging for the strikeout had him out front for strike three Ryan Jeffers at the plate Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. And there's the strike. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. And a pitch. In there at the knees. Strike one. Swings through that one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. No. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And now the count is even. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Here's Jose Trevino. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Next one misses, and that's ball one. That's in there. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. Caught him looking for the K. Now it's Franchi Cordero. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Strike two. Swings and misses, struck him out. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Royce Lewis. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Lewis measures six feet two inches, 23 years old. Usually a shortstop, but today he's starting at second base. Swing and a miss. And the one count ball. is one and two. Well, the one thing he'll find is that a lot of the time the play is to your back. You're moving to your right. You've got to throw back to first base. That's the difference between shortstop and second. You're usually moving into the play at shortstop. Second base, not so much. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And now it's filled up. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Just a weak fly ball this time. Stanton makes the grab, and there's one down. And here comes Carlos Correa. Worked to walk at his first trip to the plate. Correa playing up the middle at short, hitting third in the lineup, and he took home a gold glove in 2021. And there he goes. 
And that one fouled off. Ball in one now. Upstairs. Oh. One one. Bounced up the middle. Goes to second. Oh. Safe there. Safe. First and second, one out. Jorge Polanco, the next twin up to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And oh. ball one. And that's a pitch one early ball. in this no game. Strike. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is All looking right. forward to making up for it right. in his next at bat. Kepler oh. in the box now. Take strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Up the middle. And he'll be safe at first. Two outs. Base is full. So up next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. Caught looking his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. Next offering is foul back. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. Back at Yankee Stadium. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Obviously a guy who makes good contact. Hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First offering, and it just misses. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. His first homer of the year, and we're Square. It's 1-1. One, one. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. That was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And the 1-0. -oh. Called strike right there. Slow roller up the middle. Correa fires the first on the run. That takes care of Connor Falefo. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mid. LeMay Hugh takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Ground ball left side. Sneaks through. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That pretty much split the zone now down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's inside. LeMayhew, the base runner at first with one out. And a foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy in the fastball. Not close with that one. And the count is two and two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly. 
So it's first and second with only one away. So one out with two aboard. Here's Glaber Torres. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swings through that one. Oh and one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That one missing inside. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Taylor on a dead sprint, racing back. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1. And that one gets past the catcher. The tag, see! He scores on a wild pitch. That one misses. And that's ball two. And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. One away with a runner at third. On the ground to the left. Oh, he gloves it. Throw to first. Nicely done for the out. Here's Josh Donaldson. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. First pitch just misses. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. And the righty deals. He goes down looking. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. And now the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at old Yankee Stadium. Bounce to the left side. Toss to LeMahieu. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Man. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground Three. ball. Good execution. Yeah. Gallo oh. stands in here, takes ball one low. Swing and a miss. One, one. And a count one and one. And strike two. One, two. Next offering is foul back. Fouls it off, still one and two. Pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. And now the count filled up three and two. Left hand hitter waits. Bows it back with two strikes. Grinding A.B. right here, about to see pitch number 10. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Three and two, payoff pitch. 
gets a piece and stays alive. That one ripped. That's got a chance. And that one is going to go. Joey Gallo blasts one out. Third home run of the season, and they close the gap. It's 4 2. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Jeffers grounded out his first time up. Wait. There's a strike. Oh, one. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So the batting order turns over. Here's Royce Lewis. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. And the one two misses to even the count. In the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And he'll pull into second safely. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Next to hit, Donovan Solano. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Line drive, speared at first. LeMayhew takes it to the bag. They limit the damage here. Here at New Lead Yankee off. Stadium in Yankee. the Bronx. And here is Jose Trevino. Jose. Trevino. The right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. And no one can get there. Around first and hustling for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Waste no time there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now it's going to be Franchi Cordero. Oh, no. Just missed. Oh, no. Next pitch is outside. Trevino at second with nobody out. Swings and misses. And it's two and one. And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. Out. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Aaron Hicks. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Here comes the 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. Oh. 
And down on strikes. Two gone. And now the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. 0 for 1 so far. Kiner Falefa. Flares it into the outfield. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, number 97. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Correa lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. The next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Right-handed reliever. And another ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. On the ground. Collected by Torres to first. Awesome play there. Up next to the win. The designated hitter. Jorge Polanco. Liner, base hit. Now that the right field, Max. Max Kepler at the plate, one for two. Next Whoa. offering is down low, one and zero. Left-hand batter waits. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Stant should have this one. Makes the grab. And there's two away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear yeah, and go a long way to track easy. that one down. Violin. Nothing better than that. Oh. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Farmer up for the third time and takes ball one. One ball, no strike. One one now. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Got him swinging. Bottom of the inning, Leading up off. to the plate well, steps D.J. LeMayhew. The first baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Over, back to work. That's a laser base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Everything came together for him. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. On the mound now for the Twins, Kenta Maeda. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Digging in, Oswaldo Cabrera. And that one wrapped foul. Man at second. And that's in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Goes down looking. Labor Torres up to the plate. RBI not for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. First offering misses the mark. LeMayhew leads off second with one gone in the inning. And a 1-1. One, one. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And the 
right hander deals. That one missed. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two outs. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. One of the things to remember about John Carlos Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. Man on second, two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Out to short, Correa. Over to first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. And that will end the inning. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the power speed combo. Michael A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And that's down and away. Taylor measures six feet four inches, 215 pounds. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. The one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one-two again. Next offering is outside. Good eye right there. Here comes a 3-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Here's Joey Gallo. He's already homered here in this one. Gallo, a multi-gold glove award winner, 29 years old. He joined the team as a free no. agent. First pitch, and he just misses. Swings through that one for strike one. one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Brian Jeffers, Brian. the next twin up to hit. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Right. That one's in there, 0-1. One. One. A little out front there as he swings oh. through it. Oh. Struck him out looking. the six and now the DH Josh Donaldson <laughs> and he deals On the ground to third. Slings it across. Yeah, you're out. One away, bottom of the six. The Jose Trevino stepping okay. in now for the Yankees. Trevino. Bounce to third. Into the outfield. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. One that hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Maeda, in his eighth season, he features a slider, a splitter, a four-seamer, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. The pitch. 
That's oh. down and in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. That's outside. Oh. And the count is three and one. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. And here it comes. And a base hit right there. They get it in quickly. So first and second down, one out. A couple of singles back to back. Yeah. Solid swing yeah. from start to end. On yeah. time with everything. Really good balance. Yeah. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now here's Aaron Hicks. And a foul ball. And now the one. There's a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering misses. And the count one and two. The pitch. Hicks tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. Now all leave it up. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it's through for a hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And they lead by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Now, Isaiah kiner falefa Beats the second out there. And that's two. Michael King taking over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Lewis at the plate now. That's ball one. Pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Righty to the plate. Fought off foul. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now batting. No and next base. for Minnesota, Donovan, Donovan Solano. Solano. Ah. And that's in there for strike one. Now one and one. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now Correa up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. Not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And a 2 1 on the way. They say it went. Two ball, two strike. Four. And now it's three and two. Full count. The three ball two ball. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he opted to go with the off speed stuff on that three two with the bases empty. Close pitch, but now he's got to work out of the stretch. Polanco at the plate with two away swings through that one. In for a strike and a count is 0-2. Two. two outs. That just misses. Now one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's a one-two. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The next ball, pitch misses. Go. Two balls, two strikes. It's 
there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Whoa, Just whoa. misses with that one. Correa leads off first with two down to the inning. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. Jorge Polanco goes deep. Third home run of the season. It's 5-4. So up next, Max Kepler. One for three. That's in there. Strike one. No ball. One strike. And a good eye there. One one. The one one. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. That misses. The count now two and two. In the dirt. And that is that. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Dennis Santana. He's making his second appearance of the season. Santana. Here comes a pitch. LeMayhew, the next to hit, takes ball one. One ball, no strike. In the air, right field. Kepler makes the catch. And a quick out, number one. Now batting. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. High fly ball down the left field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Now batting. Second baseman. Laver. Torres. Torres in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next pitch off the play. And the count even one and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. They say it went. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Wandy Peralta. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Farmer, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Sliced hard, but foul. The tying run at the plate. And a ball evens the count. That's a little bit low. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next pitch is popped up. He's under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Taylor in the box now. Take strike one. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just. Swing and a miss! Struck him out! Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So now pinch hitter for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. Big spot for him here. Buxton. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. In the air, left field, down the line, and that is a foul ball. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Looking to get the tying run on base. In the dirt, Trevino collects, fires the first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. So remaining in the game defensively, Byron Buxton. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Well, one run game. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. The right fielder. Giancarlo. Santana back to work. And that's outside. And that's downstairs and outside. He hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Righty delivers. Jack Swing went around. And now two and two. That one drifts inside. 3-2. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. Josh Donaldson stepping in now for the Yankees. The other way, and he beats the shift. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. And it's one and one. Donaldson leads off first with one away. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and one. And the righty deals. In the air to left center. Makes the catch for the out. Franchi Cordero digs in now. Got to be careful with a slugger like this, because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. To the right side, Lewis. They take the force out, gets him easily, ends the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the Twins catcher, Brian Jeffers. Clay Holmes takes over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Number 35, Clay. And the pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Hard ground ball for a base knot. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls, so a nice job to use that. LeMahieu gets it to first. Now one gone in the ninth. And now the first baseman, Donovan Solano. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Liner to second, it picked on the hop to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Here's Carlos Correa. Trying to deliver as the hero. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. And there's a ball. 
appears they're working around him with the base open singing well you know these two oh counts boo they're just not what they used to be and we sound like old guys when I say that but ultimately this is a strategic game and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation and a pop up right side foul territory and that will drop foul. Just one strike away. Swung on, belted. Stanton on the move, racing back. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. That looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity. But it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today.